Greetings, my fellow Narcadians. It's I, Talsar Gelden, Master of the Narcadian Order, and we're back for more Talsar plays Mass Effect. Remember, links will be down below to my Patreon and to my Discord channel. So feel free to join my Discord, become a member of the Narcadian Order. So that was a point of no return, apparently. So now. Journal. Quarantine, it says right here. Head to the quarantine lab, which is downstairs near the science team quarters. Ah, oh, here we go. It's this way. find out about them, didn't you? You mean those things out there? Yes. I'm the only survivor from the hot lab, you know. I need to know more about those things out there. About the Rachni? Rachni? That's preposterous. The Krogan wiped them out a thousand years ago. They found it in a derelict ship. An egg. Waiting since the last battles. They brought it here. Shut up! God, you want to get us killed? I don't have any control over who lives or dies here. Do you? If you're gonna be crazy, be the quiet kind. Crazy? I'm sane. God, am I sane. I need to know everything about the Rachni. I told you all I can. We brought the Rachni back from the dead. In retrospect, <laughs> a bad decision. How can I get into the maintenance area? A team lead would have access. Like Dr. Cohen. He's in the medical bay. Could Matriarch Venezia survive in the hot labs? It's possible. The specimens were sensitive to biotics. I heard you were at the hot labs. How did you make it out alive? I killed her. Who? Doctors on Muir. We were going to lunch when the alarms went off. I ran into the tram and I closed the doors. She banged on the window once, then they sliced her to pieces. Her head came apart like a melon. I closed the door. I killed her. Tell me what you know. I'll make your survival mean something. You think I want absolution? There is none. I'll be leaving now. Hmm. That is such a terrible joke. I concur. Yeah, where the fuck is this going? Am I just going back the way I came? I might be. Yeah, I did. Hold on, let me go talk to Dr. Cohen. You mentioned some about I could get the uh, key to the maintenance area off of him, unless he gave it to me already. Yeah. 
Yes? I need to get into the maintenance area. I have a pass, but there's nothing back there. Just snow. Well, snow and maintenance access. Things are going to hit the fan in this place. Slip me the card and I'll keep your team safe. I have your word on that? Just don't tell the guards. They're twitchy enough. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. Okay, good. Good, good, good. There's nothing else around here. Where's this go? Maintenance. What's going on here? You're not part of the crew. I have Ventralis's permission to go in there. Yeah, he radioed. He also said you have to prove you're not contaminated to get out. You got a death wish? You should stand watches on the barricade. We've isolated four chemicals that can be combined to counteract the toxin. They must be mixed in precise quantities. As each chemical is poured, the equipment will mark the minimum and maximum amounts that will work. Too little or too much will spoil the results. Your mission ends here, Shepard. Who the fuck are- why? She seemed odd. <sighs> what happened to Ventralis's man? I didn't have permission to come in. He got in my way. I was ordered to eliminate you should the opportunity arise. And here you are, trapped in this lab. Weapons free! Okay. Where's this? Where do these doors go? Anywhere? Okay, I don't see anything in there of interest. Anything in here? Oh, yes, medical kit. Why medical gel? Get out of my way, Liara, please. Thank you. What about the scientists that are out here? Where are them? Okay, you're. You guys. They came out of there. You mean the get, the inorganics the Asari had with her. Venezia brought them with her. I'll be leaving now. Yeah. All right, let me deliver this cure, then I'll go down the maintenance shaft and deal with that situation. It's a shame you can't uh, change the character models at all. At least there aren't any mods for them right now. It's something akin to what uh, is available in Skyrim. They have like different armors and body slide, so you can change body proportions. 
Here's I know, things like that have never existed for uh, Mass Effect. Is that the cure? You did it? That Asari scientist, the one in the mess hall, she just tried to kill us. Alestia? That's unbelievable. But I... Yeah, oh. I, uh, I don't know much about her. She arrived a month ago. One of the shareholders pulled strings to get her here. Let me guess, Saren the Spectre? Yes. I think that was the name. I, I don't pay attention to the other research teams. Look, the guards, they've been more on edge since you got here. I think they were expecting you. And there are more labs in the back. The guards won't even let me back there. Just people with clearance. Thanks for the warning. Here's the cure. Let me see that file. An extension on Phelps' work? I thought he was on the right track. I can't thank you enough that... Oh, God, what a cliché. You saved their lives, do you know that? Hmm. Could you spare a few medical packs? They're worth their weight in gold up here. You didn't get these from me. Ventralis wanted them saved for his people. I need to administer this. Thanks again. I think I'm full up on Medigel. I don't know, why is there still a quest marker over here? Yeah, Harry gave me the way in. They seem to be coming along well. They don't look much better. It'll take time for them to recover. They're through the worst. Good news. I'll see you around. Of course. Be careful. All that noise. Relieved. It's pleasant to see you well. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock. Okay, all right, buy everything from you. I don't know why there's a quest marker here. Where does this go? Warning. Watchdog protocol is active. All right, let's not go that way. Ah, oh, hello. You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. Her children were to be ours. Raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. 
Indeed. What have you told him about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. Let the fun begin. These grenades are pretty worthless. What are you two doing? What? Oh, come on. Can't even get them up. Come on, do I have a. Uh, let's see. Use Unity. There we go. How did you get up there? Light. Everything is clear. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You. <clears throat> you must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. So you could turn on me again? Yes, but it would not be my will, Shepard. People are not themselves around Saren. You come to idolize him, worship him. You would do anything for him. The key is Sovereign, his flagship. It is a dreadnought of incredible size, and its power is extraordinary. The ship that attacked Eden Prime? I didn't think anything that size could land on a planet. It has a very powerful mass effect drive, but that is not Sovereign's true power. The longer you stay aboard, the more Saren's will seems correct. You sit at his feet and smile as his words pour into you. It is subtle at first. I thought I was strong enough to resist. Instead, I became a willing tool, eager to serve. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How does something that big go missing? 4,000 years ago, a star nearby went supernova. 
The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Someone on Novaria found it? 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. The Rachni can share memories across generations. Queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. I took the location of the relay from the Queen's mind. I was not gentle. How did the Rachni find it? They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures, driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the new relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his cause. You can still make it right. Give me the information. I was not myself, but I should have been stronger. I transcribed the data to an OSD. Take it, please. Knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough. Do you know where you plan to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh you should. Oh, you should. Mother, I don't leave. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Die. Go on. You will have to stop him, Shepard. Hold on. We've got that issue. Maybe we can. No. He is still in my mind. Why is the music so fucking loud? said there would be a... <sighs> what? Options. Need a sound gallery. No, not sound effect, but music volume. Let's lower it down a little bit. All right. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. Musics? What? Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. 
We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings, and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is beautiful. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks? Acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us, or return our people to the silence of memory. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we... I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance. Songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Not really a lot to comment on in this section. All right, let's go set off a bomb. What is up with that sound? noise was
Okay. Alright, time to nuke this place. Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? I understand that we'll be dead soon. Talk fast. Binary Helix found an... This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. Yes. They should have destroyed it. Binary he But when... After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies. To Obviously, the they were uh, wrong. The, I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. Are these you telling me I shouldn't uh, kill thee? These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad I don't have time uh, for this. Is fail safe? You understand? I am <laughs> feeling not so well. How do we... Arming controls are nearby. <clears throat> All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will give Nera the struck. <laughs> Connecting. I have full access to the facility. Activate the neutron. Burst. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Oh, I forgot to pick up the code. I forgot to, you uh, up, I forgot to pick up the code. Online, how can I help you? Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do it without proper code authorization. Code input. Eight. All right, let's get out of here. <sighs> Okay, I think I'm done here. Can't go back this way. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. This is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Yeah, sure. Let's...
There's a deal with a very pleasant uh, Turian council member here. Always pleasant. And then release the queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Ah, shit. Ah, drop my phone. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. Alright, well, uh, ordinarily my next step would be go to Vermeer. However, I need to do some loyalty missions for my crew members. Otherwise, things will go poorly. Particularly where Rex is involved. If I don't do his loyalty mission, I'll have to kill him. Boy, am I glad to be off of Novaria. I don't know which was worse, the cold or the corporations. One will freeze your balls off, the other will sell them out from under you. With all due respect, Commander. How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. Balances in what? The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average. I have to go. All right, see ya. So yeah, pretty much I'm going to spend time knocking out side quests and whatnot before I go to Vermeer. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. In the end, maybe she's better off now. Maybe. She was a good person once. Before she was twisted by Sovereign's power. Better to remember her as she used to be. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. <coughs> it is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. Why me? There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the man you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. You're interested in me because of my visions. You just want to know more about the Protheans. I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard, but I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Chief Williams. Williams and I are just friends, nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? Yeah, okay, so the first time I played Mass Effect, I went for Liara. 
So I don't know if I want to continue that. Uh, I don't even really want to call it a tradition. You've only if you've ever done it once, or do I want to go for actually this time around? Uh, up and I mean I don't see why I couldn't try and go for both. We'll see. We'll see what this could. You were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? Probably because we already mind melded. For a short time, we are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. Saren wants both of us dead. That's something. That is not the reason, is it? You make it all sound so dangerous. Don't tell me a little danger mm. puts you off. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You. I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Well, maybe not. Let's. All the time you want, because you do live for like you know, you do live for like almost a thousand years. So. Do you know why Benezia joined Benezia up? was swept up in events be but I will remember and honor how she lived, not how she died. My mother was strong, kind, and beautiful, and now she is gone. Are you going to be okay? You are kind to ask, Shepard. I do miss her, and I grieve for what happened to her. But I will not let my grief interfere with what we are trying to accomplish. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the... My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Although we seek to understand other species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and... I think I've already gone through this land dialogue, but like let's double check. Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered, male and female. We yeah, still got through here. a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. I wanted to try... But humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding. I should go. All right, there. Goodbye, there. Commander. Nobody talked. You... Go talk to Caden, see if he has a loyalty mission up already or not. <clears throat> Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Well, they know about the stonewalling you've had from the Council. And what do they think? They're on your side. They're pissed about the resistance we're getting, especially from our side. I'll have a better handle on all of it when my head stops hurting. Mother L2 flare up. Ever thought about going back under the knife? Maybe get an upgrade? No thanks, Commander. One slip and you can't remember your own name. Mm. The L2s spike higher anyway. My abilities would drop with pain-free L3s. And it'd be a cold day before I turn myself over to a Kinetic subsidiary. I haven't heard anything about Kinetics in a while. Yeah, they quietly disappeared. Broke up into a bunch of little corps after they botched the training on Jump Zero. After first contact, Kinetics was set up to track Element Zero exposures and develop implants for humans. Once we had an embassy on the Citadel, Kinetics could bring in experts instead of taking it slow. Now, why only take implants from a manufacturer like uh, Cut? I don't know why I'm having a hard time pronouncing your name. Con Conotics. I don't know why that name is giving me a hard time getting off my tongue. Anyway, there are other people out there, other aliens that use biotics. Now, they use them naturally, like the Asari, for instance, and Rex also can use biotics. As far as I'm aware, they don't need implants. But I would like to think that they would probably be able to manufacture implants just the same as any other human-based company would be able to. Why not get a implant made by an alien manufacturer? 
especially a manufacturer that has more knowledge. Well, a manufacturer whose species has more knowledge and experience with biotics, like the Asari. Is there some reason we couldn't learn it on our own? They didn't know where to start. Hell, it took a couple of years to even link biotics and ESO. Forget trying to get the kids to move stuff. They had trouble just helping them not break their own limbs. And their choice of teachers didn't help much. The only experts would have to be aliens. Dead on. Turians, actually. That's why Canadics kept it a secret. They were afraid of what people back home would think, asking the Turians for help when we just fought a war with them. The Asari would have been more acceptable than the Turians. Yes, but the company didn't go through the Citadel. It would have made Earth look weak, so they discreetly hired some Turian mercenaries. Hmm, interesting. Get your knuckles wrapped a few times, Lieutenant? Yeah, you could say that. Our instructor was a Turian by the name of Commander Vernus. A real hard ass. He basically had a free pass to break us if it would turn out a decent biotic. Kind of spiraled from there, Commander. You're a hell of a biotic, though. He must have done something, right? Well, I got to where I am because I took initiative. Good or bad, I own that. Pretty much despite kinetics. Anyway, this is ancient stuff. I walked it off a long time ago. I should get back to my duties, Commander. We're here to make history, not rehash it. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting, though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the Council. We weren't out here during the Rachni War. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Alright, let me go down to the loading bay. What do you want, Shepard? Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding, at least for one generation. And for a while, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. <clears throat> I take it the warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes, a meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. We met at the Hollows, near the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, and where we all go. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. It sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected as much. I did. But when your father invites you to a crush, well, 
There are some laws that even we hold sacred. Jared was your father? He was. Until that day. We talked. <clears throat> but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men leapt from the graves of our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. That is why I left, and that's why I'll never go back. Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. You must have family other than your father. Don't you miss them? You trying to make me cry, Shepard? I've got some unfinished business with my family. But that's all. What kind of business? <sighs> Before I left, I made an oath to my father's father. I swore to recover my there it is. battle armor. It was taken from him after the uprising. What's so important about this armor? It's a relic. Useless, really. But it was worn by five generations of my family before the war. It's rightfully mine. Originally, it was taken by the Turian military. We weren't allowed armor or weapons after the war. Now, it's in the hands of Ton Actus, a Turian scum who collects relics from the war. He's made millions selling Krogan artifacts that were stolen from my people. He's got several bases where he stores his goods, all fortified and guarded. I just don't know which base has my family's armor. Just tell me where to start looking. I'll upload the data to your nav system, but Commander, I want to be there when you find him. So long, Rex. Alright, sure. that's done. Oh, before I go, you said you're serving with Commander Shepard now? We saw him on the news here. He's cute. Later, sis. Tell me you didn't hear that. Your sister, I assume? Until I get home and kill her. That's Sarah, the youngest. Surprised to see you here, sir. Thought you'd be chatting up, what's her name? To Sony? Liara? Why would you think that? Scuttlebutt says you got a bit of a thing for her. I could understand why. The crew's off limits with the regs against fraternization. And at least she looks like a woman. You think I'm interested in Liara because she's the only one I'm allowed to date? So, you are interested in her. Of course, it could be politics. Alien diplomat's daughter, us under orders to make nice with the bug-eyed monsters. What's up? You didn't come by to eavesdrop on family mail. Your family seems to be important to you. Yeah, we've always been close. Me and my sisters especially. With Dad on duty so much, I had to help Mom raise them. After helping raise them, your sisters still talk to you? Amazing. Things were tense between Sarah and me for a while. Then we bonded. Sounds like your father wasn't around much. Wasn't your family stationed near him? Dad always wanted to serve in space. But he wanted us to have real ground under our feet. I cannot rest from travel. I will drink life to the lees. All times I've enjoyed greatly have suffered greatly, both with those that loved me and alone. For always roaming with a hungry heart, much have I seen and known. Cities of men and manners, climates, councils, governments. I never thought I'd hear you reciting poetry. Just because I can drill you between the eyes at a hundred meters doesn't mean I can't like sensitive stuff. Just don't spread it around. Ulysses was my dad's favorite poem. Every time he shipped out, he recorded me reading it. He had a dozen versions when he retired. Does he still like it? I sure hope so. I read it to his grave every time I go home. Dad passed on a few years back. He's
probably still watching though. So behave. You mean from wherever we go after death? Dead on Skipper. He's with God now. That's not a problem with you, is it? That I believe in God? Everyone has the right to believe what they want. It says so on the Alliance Charter. Only with fancier words. I'm glad you're open-minded about it. I've met a few people who were really weirded out by my faith. Because I work in space, I can't believe in a higher power? Jeez. Hello, have you people looked out the window? How can you look at this galaxy and not believe in something? I should get back to my duties. Didn't mean to take up so much of your time. What's your opinion on the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You know, you really should talk to Chisoni about her mom. She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Yeah, I've already done that. We'll talk later, Williams. Looking forward to it, Skipper. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC hmm. officer? It's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Mm. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reason. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. Yeah, that... That... Dialogue sounded different from the other dialogue. I don't know if they mix it wrong or recorded differently or something. <clears throat> I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Alright, what do you got for, for sale? Supplies? How often will you get new items? And then check back often. I need to move items quickly. So Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay, there we go. Now, can I sell anything? No, that's supplies? a good question. Not right oh. now, thanks. No problem. Keep checking back. Looking for supplies? Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Yeah, I can sell. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta go. Let's sell all the junk? Yeah, let's do that. Stop there. Shepard, I'm glad you're here. Good to see you smiling again, so to speak. I'm sleeping much better now. 
I guess I'm getting used to how quiet your ship is. I still think a lot about my pilgrimage, though. I know Sterin's our top priority. <clears throat> with all the worlds we go to, I was hoping to find something to bring back to the flotilla. We've still got a long way to go. You'll find something to take back. Yes, but it cannot just be some derelict ship my people can use for salvage. It has to be more than that. There's a lot expected of me. What's so special about you? It's my father. He's the senior member of the Admiralty Board. He's one of only five people who can overrule the decisions of the Conclave for the good of the migrant fleet. My father is responsible for the lives of 17 million people. Our entire race is in his hands, and I'm his only child. It must be tough on you. My people place a high value on family and ancestry. There's an unspoken expectation that I'll live up to my father's example. Everyone's waiting for me to do something great on my pilgrimage. Something that will forever change our lives for the better. If I don't, it's like I failed. And that reflects badly on both me and my father. What would you need to bring back to make everyone happy? Something that would help us better understand the Geth. They've changed significantly since the exile. They've continued to evolve. We've done our best to study them, but it's not easy. They're very reclusive. Until recently, they never went beyond the borders of the Vale. And all the Geth we run into now are under Seren's control. We'd need to find Geth operating on their own, independently. But I don't want this to get in the way of our mission, Shepard. First, we stop Seren. Then I'll worry about my own problems. What was your father like? It wasn't easy growing up as the daughter of one of the Admiralty. Even before he joined the board, he was a prominent figure. People looked to him for leadership. He had to set an example, and he expected the same of his daughter. Plus, he was pretty strict, a military man through and through. He never allowed me to settle for anything less than excellence. As a kid, I sometimes felt like he was pushing me too hard. But now, I'm old enough to appreciate what he taught me. The world doesn't owe us anything. If we want something in life, we have to earn it. Where was your mother in all this? Mother was around, but she always seemed to kind of blend into the background. Almost like she was overshadowed by my father. He tends to do that to people. She passed on about five years ago. Some airborne virus that swept through the fleet. Happens sometimes when the filters start to break down. I think my father took it pretty hard. After she was gone, he became even more focused on his work. I think that was his way of dealing with the grief. Sounds like a tough upbringing. You don't resent your father at all? <clears throat> like I said, it wasn't easy. My father's not the kind of person you bond with. And he wasn't around all that much. Too busy. People counted on him, and he took his duties seriously. Even when he was around, he always seemed a bit distant. Like his mind was always somewhere else. Come to think of it, I can't ever remember seeing him smile. Not once. It's like he was always weighed down by all that responsibility. I mean, I know he cares about me, but he never really showed it, not in the usual way. I guess the best thing I can say about my father is that I respect him. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Alright, I think I'm done here. Go. See you later. Alright, well, I think I have done quite a bit this time around. Let me head back up to the map table. Alright, so... Next time, I'm going to start knocking out some of these uh, side quests and dealing with Rex's loyalty mission. Until then, this has been Talisar Gelden for Talisar Plays. Thank you for watching.